Max. Yes. Welcome to Charlotte. Tiny shiny man. Yeah. House kitchen. Represent. <laughs> I'm loving your shoes today. Thank you so much. They're gorgeous. I'm so delighted. I have to probably get some new ones because what I do is I get really obsessed with the shoe and then like we were talking about earlier, I wore these like ATV and Cabo and all these crazy things. Oh my so now gosh, they're like no both way. dirty and shiny. So now I don't feel bad. I stepped on it. I, no, exactly. I was yeah. going to tell you that, but I figured I'd save it till now. So no, exactly. But I'm glad you like them. I'll probably, I've been telling my wife, just get me two pairs of anything that yeah. I like, please. Oh my God. I will just be so happy because then if I, I ruin it, life. which I inevitably will, yes. I will not change. Yeah. Then I'll have the other fresh pair. Cause you know what I like is white shoes. Really? Yeah. I'm obsessed. You love white shoes? I love white shoes. I have two or three pair of white Converse. One of them are high tops. I need to get another pair of high tops because I'm ruining them now. Hey. It's like a whole thing. Respect. You know what you love. Yeah. You know, you know the risks, but you right? still do it because you love it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, speaking of Mexico, why were you there? Because oh, I yes. have so much FOMO watching you on Instagram. Oh, thanks for following along. It yes. was, uh, it's fun. I'm re- not very good at vacations. I'm like, I can, I'm like a two or three day guy usually yeah. uh, but my wife was like if we don't go on just a vacation for us that right. doesn't involve like doing a show like I'm I don't know not gonna actually kill me but she was just right. like I need it so we went and uh, and it was beautiful it was like a little bit of her birthday trip slash like we never went on a honeymoon so we call them mini moons oh, wow. which is why I think of like oh it'll never we'll always be honeymooning if we just do these mini moons so it was like exactly. all of that at once yeah. um, and it was nice we did it was like six days in Cabo which I'd never been to and it was um, we went you know we did the fun stuff beach atving stuff like that yeah um, but it was it was nice just because it was it was uh, i can't really sit still very often it's hard for me so it was right. nice to just she was just like just sit there i i just love that she does that for you because oh, i think a lot of people need to be especially workaholics need to be forced into taking time for themselves Absolutely, yes so that's a good thing that you have that like as a partner in crime oh yeah she's the best we balance each other out very very well and i'm very grateful for her she's the most fabulous so woman. that p- that picture that you posted today though was yeah. that from that was Cabo? there that was that wasn't okay. here in charlotte but i wanted yeah, people to know <laughs> just in case they didn't charlotte. i was gonna be here in charlotte and yes. i do enjoy it no we appreciate it because i reposted it immediately oh, i was delighted. like guys look where i'm at yes, that's where i'm at oh, that God. would be sick though no that was yeah that was in, that was in Cabo and I had been ATVing before in like Hawaii which is funny I went in Hawaii once and the guy was like has anybody been ATVing before and I don't mean yeah. for like 30 minutes in Hawaii I was like dang y'all got a, like a beef with Hawaii oh ATVing gosh. I had no idea Cabo aggressive. it was aggressive but yeah. I understand why because yes I went Hawaii ATVing yeah. it was probably like 45 minutes a little path it was cute. no Cabo is like yeah. a three hour like you go into the mountains and then you go down to the beach and then it you like gorgeous. go to that giant one yeah it was it yeah. was gorgeous it was amazing and that yeah that picture is something Thing that like we all want somebody to take of us whenever we're on vacation and you're like hey take a pic and then they don't yeah like that right? that is like a typical like yes I went on vacation this is how epic it was <laughs> yeah. look at my ATV yeah. yeah that was awesome thank you congratulations uh about the tour thank House you very of Divine much. tour yes World thank you so tour. much thank you yes. I'll be back in Charlotte I promise I've been getting a lot yeah. of getting a lot of flack from my uh, my southeast <laughs> homies my people um yeah no it's it's so funny because I actually was like the people that booked the tours I was like yeah. yo like we're missing like a lot of beautiful cities guys what's going on yeah. and they were like they were like there's just like we just gonna have to do another part so I'll do another part and I'll yeah, come here it is like a part one isn't it it is Kinda. a part one and there yeah. will be more parts and lots of new music I am scheming for a long time so right. don't wor- don't you worry Charlotte homies so before it's we happening. get into the new music though yeah. um, I just want to say Nina Nesbitt and Bryce Vine are amazing they're both amazing so I'm if so you do lucky. catch this tour it's yes. going to be amazing oh god you like them like too. Nina live is one of the best things I've ever seen in my life oh she's just wonderful like Great. And she just came through Charlotte. So yep. that, that show is is a 100% buy your tickets now and go see the <laughs> House Thank of you. Divine tour. Thank you. It's going to be great. And the new album. Is this yes. on the way? Yeah, it's on the way. Okay. I've been working on it nonstop. I just want it to be, you know, I want it to be right in this day and age. There's so much incredible music. And I right. think that it's it's inspiring because you you have to do, do your best. You can't just put it out and think. I, that's one of my least favorite things these days is there's also a, a, a mentality of like, I'll just put it out and see if it reacts. Yes. And I'm like, nah, right. not my vibe. Like, I right. will make make it I'm gonna do everything yeah. for whatever it is it's gonna be a, my baby yeah. every time so I've been uh yeah I've just been anytime we're not uh, on the road I've just been like just stowing away like a little hibernating bear making this new music and, and I'm, I'm sure very, you do everything meticulously don't you like very, everything's I'm very, very like, obsessive for yeah. sure and I and I and I and I you know I get more inspired by these amazing artists like I got to work with you know John, my friend John Bellion on on a couple songs on the record and and he's another guy who is very meticulous and yeah, just seeing those kinds of people my homie Lau 
yourself like all oh, these people that are putting out this great music right. it's yeah it's just inspiring it's in- insane to see them doing such great things and then be like wow right. I gotta I gotta just I gotta step it up so um yeah there's a lot of new stuff coming but we just put out like the first single off of it called Still New York with my friend Joey Badass saw which, it which awesome is, thank you which is which yep. has been which has been great to have out because um it's just you know I spend most of my time in places like Charlotte rather than my you know my hometown yeah. of New York and and that's awesome I love it because it makes you appreciate home and your people and and see how many incredible cultures and people there are in the world but at the same Agreed. time it makes me miss home and and so it was nice to put this record out that just is about embracing and 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 appreciating your roots even if you don't maybe when you live there too long sometimes I think anybody can get sick of where they're from and they're like yeah. oh man I just want to be somewhere else yeah. so this was definitely a song just remind yourself that wherever you're from you're probably lucky to be from there right I was just talking to somebody about this um, Max Hell's Kitchen yes is, is your at basically it is. and um, I had no idea what that meant at all I was like what Sweet. what is what is this until <laughs> what is this? I went to New York yes and one of my friends lives in Hell's Kitchen yes, and he was like come does. stay with me and I don't know if you know he said like you influenced him to, to move to is Hell's Kitchen is it Eric Kitchen. you're talking Eric, about Eric oh tight yes that's awesome <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yeah so when I went you're up there I stayed Hell's with Kitchen. him <laughs> <laughs> I stayed with him and he showed me around and he was like, Great. literally Max lives like a street over or yes. something like that. And I was like, cool. You know, I had no idea what was going on, yeah. but it's apparently this, uh, you know, I, the way he described it to me was like, it's an up and coming area of New yeah. York, which I'm sure you're very proud of, which um, is why you own it that way. Totally. You know, so this video for you, was it, was yeah. it kind of like, this is my ish right here. This it, is everything I love. Definitely yeah. the ish. And, yeah. uh, and it was cool because, um, yeah, you know, Hell's Kitchen, it's a real place. Yeah. Not just the Gordon Ramsay show. <laughs> I wasn't just birthed from Gordon Ramsay's bosom. You know, he's, he's, he, though that would be a great video, but he, um, it's, uh, I wasn't, but he, um, but Hell's Kitchen, yeah, that's, mm-hmm. that's where I'm from. And, and, uh, and I rep it so hard because I think there's a, there's a diversity and acceptance growing up in New York, you know, besides not getting my license till I was like 23. So I couldn't drive. Oh. I would just take the subways and stuff. Lit. Fun fact. But yeah. also, you walk out of your apartment and you will, you will encounter every race, religion, sexuality. Right. It's it's inevitable and it's beautiful and that's something that I was very grateful to grow up with and the more I travel sometimes that's not the case and I just think in this day and age yeah. why I rep it so hard is I hope that we can all just be more accepting of each other's lifestyles and that's right. that's what it is but yeah the song's been awesome just because also I'm you know we're giving all the money away to New York charities that that represented uh, my right. life and our life in the in the song with like my dog Wink who's a little one eyed Yorkie so uh, <laughs> he's he's always winking and Stop we it. rescued him in New York so we're giving a bunch of the money away to that and then also no. New York City public schools because so many arts programs are losing their funding and so whatever we can do right so that's uh that's what the song is all about hell's kitchen that's why we rep it new york okay what do i need to see the next time i go back oh well yeah, uh, I would say, well, fun fact, my mom's been there for 45 years, so that's another reason why wow. I it so hard. Yeah, it's been a very different neighborhood than it was. It was named I'm after, sure. you know, the Westies, which was a crazy gang. Uh, if you see, like, Gangs in New York, uh, you know, the classic movie, it's about, you know, the Westies no are are the Irish gang, and that's what yeah. Hell's Kitchen was, and that's why it was called Hell's Kitchen, because, you know, people used to, there was, like, this joke that these cops were standing in the block, and they were like, wow, this is worse than hell. And mm. This other guy's like, nah, man, it's, it's way worse than hell. It's Hell's Kitchen, and that's mm. like, and now it's not that. Now it's like a bunch of like nice little sushi spots yeah. and stuff. Like you, ain't, you ain't gonna it seems a little nice, it's, it's real nice definitely to me, yeah. way nicer yeah. I'm gonna be there nice. on Monday so I'm glad nice. you got to experience it with Eric I can't wait to go back yeah. honestly it's gonna be so much fun and yeah. now I know what to expect because I had no idea I just moved here from LA four oh but I didn't ago. answer your question I'm so sorry oh, where, no, where, where do you go in Hell's Kitchen uh, really quick fun fun places um, there's a place called the Intrepid which is a very uh, very cool uh, naval uh, uh, you know exhibit okay it's, uh, it's like all these crazy fighter jets and planes that are right on the water of New York that's like on the on the on the other side but then yeah. there's places like there's a lot of great Thai places like rustics uh rustic well, the rustic table, and then there's um, room service, which is a Thai place, and um, apparently the princess of Thailand dines there when she comes Ooh. to New York. So that's you definitely a Thai have place. to go. That's Delicious. a, a must see. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, there's, it's a lot of food, and uh, I'm not thinking of anything really interesting to say about it hey, that that's represents fine. it well. But it I was get fun. It. There I get you go. It. You I, I, it. I still can't wait to go back. It's tasty. It's good. It's a good place. <laughs> good. You'll good. find good stuff. Well, let's backtrack a little bit. Do we have like a date for House of Divine? No, no, okay. we don't. Not yet. Uh, but but we'll get there. But we I, have the name, and we. But I gotta. I'm, and... I'm gonna. I'm gonna be just. It's gonna be leaking out. Okay. For, for the next few months throughout the tour and stuff too. But the next songs coming up for it are definitely, especially me, I'm going to drop probably two more in the end of August and, and okay. uh, keep it moving. But yeah. but it all comes together in one 
big story and that's what the whole record why it's called house of fine and everything it's, it's you know cool. safe place for everybody to to, right. to to feel their most uh most accepted and divine energy yeah that the word you've you've described on instagram actually people were asking you about like why this why house of divine and you yeah. described it. it's more of like a spiritual thing for you isn't it totally um, yeah and it comes from a lyric from from lights down low lights yeah, yeah. Down so low. can yeah. i swim in your divine yeah and my wife has divine which tattoo. i thought it was a little like actual like like sexual a little bit oh yeah and it's sure it, it totally is it can yeah. also be sexual but yeah. but i think um but more so than that that's that's what's the most beautiful ab about the, the the divine thing that 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 um that kind of happened accidentally i didn't really go into even that lyric or emily getting that tattoo or anything yeah. thinking it in, in such a grand way but it's almost the simplicity of it when you when you right. find that special person in your life and it and it literally just it all clicks it all makes sense and then in a broader sense when you find what you're meant to do and and when you right. find the people mm. you're meant to be around and and you you really feel the most yourself and that's sort of Definitely. a divine thing and and what i've been really grateful for is when people feel like part of our show or part of our world even though it's a very bizarre little eccentric uh energetic one when they feel at home there's an energy that i can't replicate anywhere else and that's been right. divine for me so between my own personal life and the fans that make it divine that's what the record and the tour's about awesome so i mean Announced yesterday, by the way, was you're going to be on our 2018 iHeartRadio <sighs> Music Festival oh, daytime so stage lineup. So many, so many good people. <laughs> you're going to be live from Las Vegas oh, yes. in September, oh. and you're going to be on the same stage as like Dua Lipa and Bozzy oh. and Leon Bridges. Oh. And yeah, it's good. <laughs> It's it's so good, honestly. But uh, what can we expect from that performance? Oh my gosh, I'll probably climb something. Okay. And, and my wife will probably be like, "Don't fall." <laughs> um, I'll definitely jump around a lot. A lot of energy, some guitars, and and talk boxes, and lots of just funky stuff. And then of yeah. course, getting deep in the feels with lights down low, as always. Deep in the feels. Deep in the feels. Yes. You know, it uh. always comes back to that. But a lot of times, it's really funny because I think when people haven't seen our show, or maybe they just don't lights down low, yeah. which is more and more of a a regular occurrence which is tight I'm glad they right. know the song but they definitely All just expect like the show is like that mm -hmm. and unfortunately and for them or, yeah. it is not like yeah. that it yeah. is way crazier and that's always awesome people are like oh snap this is so fun or they're like oh I didn't know this was what I was getting into that's always the best yeah no because I mean the rest of your music is honestly super upbeat and it's super like intense and a lot of fun like you just dropped Satisfied with yeah, Glantis yeah, too with Glantis, hey, yeah which that video is nuts by the Thank way Ghost much. Riding the Whip in LA yeah, like <laughs> Oh, Where did that come from? Was that what was that? It was just random, you know. Yeah, I mean, Galantis guys are fun size like me, which is awesome. Yeah. I, we had a great time, and I, uh, like I said, I'm a pretty terrible driver. Come, come, get, not getting my license until like three years ago. Uh, but um, I really was driving around LA for like the whole day, yeah. and like with cameras, like filming me sing the song and drive. And yeah. luckily, we had police escort, so I didn't hit anybody. Awesome. But I was like, awesome. I had people in the car. I was like, I'm probably gonna. You guys yeah. should be really careful right now. Like maybe I shouldn't actually be driving. But I did. I and actually didn't hit drove. any L.A. traffic or didn't anything? Didn't hit any mm. L.A. traffic. But it was Lucky. tight. I wish now that I had police escorts while I was driving. Exactly. I was like, yeah. I need this every day. Yes. What or you would have been doing? on the 405. You should have gone to the beach I was, I or would, something. Oh, yeah. I, I honestly started inquiring like so how much does this cost to like yeah. get these guys like is it you have to have a permit like can yeah, I just no, hire actually, them what is that yeah I wonder what is the process um, nobody that? knew the answer okay. but like how do you know this is like I legit what if I just it? pretended to film music videos every day and I just hired some sure these escorts do. you know yeah. that would be tight well I mean at least you got away with it for hey, that day for that day I did yeah there was this one beautiful moment when it was like oh, it's the craziest traffic and I was trying to cut through it and go yes. left oh my gosh and gosh having those guys just stop all the traffic and let me go through was one of those so just better. the little simple moments so in life where you're like yeah what's up guys sorry I gotta that's get goals through. that's was. goals in life especially if you want to live in LA or New York that is oh, goals yeah. of course oh, it was it was glorious so okay one more question and yes. I, I do want to get kind of like not serious but like hit me it's just okay so I mean you you love to express yourself and yeah. and you love to kind of experiment with fashion and everything and which is so great for so many of your fans and everything you always want people to express themselves and not be scared of the word freak and stuff totally. like that yeah yeah so you know I have somebody very close to me who also wants to kind of experiment in that sense but he just feels like every time he steps outside he's going to be made fun of and he has been in the past where yeah. he's actually been called you know the f word and 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 people totally. have just said horrible things to him and so now it's like he feels like he can't be himself so what kind of advice do you have for young people who are looking to just kind of be themselves and experiment with fashion, experiment however they want to, but are scared they're going to be either, you know, typecasted as emasculine or, you know, as a freak. I would say. say my my best advice is it took me 
of course, being with my wife to have the confidence to be okay to be called a freak or to be to be threatened or to any all of the terrible things that uh, unfortunately just happen and probably yeah. won't change in the world. But what helps, I think, the most is if you're lucky enough to have any friends that you really love and to really not to really not care about what anybody but those friends think, that's the most empowering. Because it's tough. tough. You want everybody to like you. You want everybody to think you're cool. You want everybody to be into your thing, and it's hard to have people not get you. Yeah. But if you have just a one or two or a few people that get your thing and encourage you, encourage them and make like be each other's strength because right. that's the that's the greatest way to express yourself and take those risks and if people don't like it as long as you have those people to support you yeah. you're always going to be okay like it does as long as you have those people but but don't but but give them that energy in the same way that you want it from them of so course. my best advice is to encourage the the people closest to you and in the way that you'd hope they'd encourage you. And then hopefully some other people start realizing that maybe it isn't a weird thing and, and maybe yeah. weird is fun and you they should be weird too. And weird that's is awesome. Fun. Weird is so fun. Yeah, and by the way, your nails are fabulous. Thank you. As I, I was can. saying to you, it yeah. kills me when you when you when you lose the one. Oh, it, it was like I'm in the shower and and I and I go to wash my hair and then just one nail perfectly lifts all the way off from the gel. Mm. And I was like, yo. Does it hurt? Because like no. I said, I've never had gel nails. I want to try hurt. though. It doesn't hurt. It's but it, what's yeah. supposed to last for like a month. That's why. Oh, okay. it's, that's why it's mm. frustrating because like you do this I feel like thing. I paid for this. Exactly. It's not it, that. Plus, it's like not very good for your nails. Like I try to stay away yeah. from it. But but it was my wife's birthday. She wanted to get them. So I haven't and done it yet. It, it's it, and they make yeah. each nail look like it's like individually on meth. Like each one is like a meth addict, <laughs> okay. and they like start yeah. chipping off and cracking, and it's so <laughs> bad. Right. Um, uh, so it's like you don't like seeing that. You're like, oh yeah. no. Oh, I just it, it just made my nails do yeah. that again, and it fell off. Why? See, dudes, now you know why girls get mad. Exactly, if their nails break or something happens. Oh you drop God. like what? How much? How much money? Like Yo, eighty to one hundred and twenty, depending that's on where exactly you go. Exactly how and, much money you yeah, drop. Yeah, <laughs> it can be that expensive. Unless maybe it's not as expensive in North Carolina, LA. They got some jack prices. Well, yeah, I got a nod over here it. saying no, it's less expensive. Well, a lot oh, of people right, do it right. on their own too. But uh, but yeah, that's why I usually like do my own nails. Yeah, but, you know, same. My favorite though, the only thing I can't do is like when I get nail art that's gel. Like yes. when I did the James Corden show, yeah. I got his face like hand painted on my thumb, and then my face hand painted my other oh, thumb so by this crazy nail artist. Is there a picture? And, can I see it? Oh yes, online. Okay. I can okay, show it to you too. Yeah. I'll see <laughs> this around. I'll show it after. <laughs> Say, but, um, but yeah, no, it was, it was one of, <laughs> that was like the moment where it's like, well, I could never draw a person's face yeah. on a nail. Like yeah. I have to Like do I'm not this. that talented. No, exactly. Yeah. So. Well, cool. I'm, I'm excited to see you in Vegas in September. Same. I'm trying to make my way out there for this but, daytime uh, stage. Woo! I cannot wait. And I can't wait for House of Divine. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so much you for talking to us. Oh, it's my pleasure. Channel 961, Brooke Morrison. Charlotte Slay.